So my friend offered us to stay here for a few days and he got us really like cute old house like a nice backyard it's like super green it's like a creek nearby too yeah super cute very very grateful that we can stay here instead of having to book a hotel for all those days that we're here eating at uh, the restaurant I always went to with my family when I grew up and with my friends um, it has new owners now but it's still the same vibe and they're actually closed until five but <clears throat> he said it's not a problem we can just eat here so it's just us now so prices are very expensive but it's all like organic and locally grown and really good quality I mean, I think I'm getting him this one since he never had those mushrooms before. Mm. You like the juice? And this is my salad. One of my favorite parts here is the bread. It's so good. It also comes from the organic farm. What it is? Yeah. Um, radish. Um, radish salad. Good. Dip it in the jam. Mm. Oh my god. Katsu, you gotta try this. Mm. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. You know what the jam does? It cancels out the like, bitterness of the, the mold a little bit. I think mm. that's why we do it. This is soup. Good. Can I try some? Mm -hmm. Mm. I got the mushroom soup for my papa and he extra blended it for me so papa can eat it a little bit better because he can't really chew anymore. It was nice of him, wasn't it? Picking up my sister now. Colton just um, walked to her house. First time in two years that I'm seeing my sister. So, pretty exciting stuff. Um, yeah, it almost feels surreal that we haven't seen each other in two years. And now it's time where we see each other on this very random, normal day. Exciting. I saw my papa today. I visited him, visited him at the nursing home because he is um, last stage Parkinson's, unfortunately, and is not able to do anything himself anymore. So that was very 
emotional so i feel very very drained and happy at the same time that i could see him again and get some smiles out of him and some cries out of myself and yeah very emotional day visit my visited the grave of my mom on the cemetery we're at Colton and also very emotional and sad so it's a very very emotional roller coaster kind of day but those days exist too so that's just life I guess I see Colton walking around, but I don't see my sister, so we'll see. I think she's probably still um, getting dressed, and I think he took the wrong street. <laughs> yeah, just gave him some hand signs. I hope... I had to give him two thumbs up, one wasn't enough, I guess. Still parking where I'm not supposed to park, but as long as I'm still in the car, it's good. I would get out to, to greet her, but um, this is a city where they don't hesitate, hesitate, hesitate to give you a ticket. So I don't want to risk it right now, especially on a the weekend. There's a lot of police going on, so uh, patrolling. Oh. I'm so drained. The thing is, I don't feel like the jet lag tiredness, but I don't feel tired at all, if that makes sense. Like, my body is constantly awake, even at night, and even when I took a long nap today, I woke up every 30 minutes, um, and I just couldn't sleep, like, in one piece. I would just wake up every couple hour, uh, every couple minutes. So I think my body is still, like, so confused what time of the day it is. And, yeah, I think after today, it should probably go back to normal so I'm not expecting to have like a completely normal sleep cycle after the second day in Germany but um, I definitely hope it's gonna get a little bit better because it is a weird state like my body just I just feel weird I just feel I feel like I'm at home but I also feel like I miss my home in Tennessee because I've been there the last two days at uh, days two years and everything here is familiar, but at the same time, everything is like different now. So, like all the situations, like with my dad or my sister, like things are just ever changing and nothing is staying the same. And I think you just gotta accept that and don't see it as something negative. I don't want to see it as something negative, but it's just hard to... It's hard to explain. I think people... I think you will know the feeling, right? If you moved away from a, from your hometown and then you come back after a few years, after you left somewhere else. Everything feels familiar, but everything feels weird at the same time it's nostalgic but it's not really home anymore it's not it's just <sighs> i gotta get some sleep <laughs> sorry for talking your ear off and thanks for listening and um i'll probably see you later or tomorrow tomorrow uh, tonight is the european championship soccer championship final england against england against spain so <coughs> we're planning on watching that together in a bar in a public viewing or just in a, in a restaurant with my sister so yeah we're doing that and probably not gonna feel much tonight since we haven't seen each other in so long so we're just gonna use the time off the phone and yeah i'll see you guys very soon and thank you so much for listening to my monologue and um, I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're doing okay 
And even if you're not doing okay, you will be okay soon. Everything is ever changing and everything comes and goes. Same with emotions and feelings. So if you're sad or like me and emotional, just hang in there and it'll be okay eventually. My sister is coming, the little goober. She can't see me. <laughs> I found a nice little spot to park and now I'm walking back to him. Bye car, I love you. Was ich zumachen? Ja. Ich lasse auf. Genso! Genso! Hier schläfst du, oder? Ja, das ist mein. Hast du aber schön eingerichtet auch. Ach so, das ist echt die Ja. Das ist die Küche. Ach so, die Tür ist hier unten zu. Ich hab grad gedacht, das ist da so aus. Ich hab grad mal aus. Ach so, stimmt. Süß. Hier ist das Bad. Oh. Cute. Schatz. Hi. Ich glaube, ich bin müde. Wie kommst du da runter? Das ist einfach so. Schatz. She makes a big cake for us. Thank you, Mila. Thank you. 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 Thank We are going to see the soccer final, the European Championship final. Yeah. <laughs> We just came from America and we already ate McDonald's. Got the McLean tomato. Which one did you get? Chicken burger? Did you burp? Did you burp? <laughs>